Hi, everybody. My name is Lauren, and I am one of the co-presidents of Rowan University's 3D Printing Club. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your very own heart bracelet charm in on shape. And this is for Rowan 3D PC's Valentine's Day bracelet design event. So if this is what you're looking to do, then stick around and I will show you just how to make it. All right, so the first step of our process is going to be to go to onshape.com. And onshape is the computer aid design program that we will be using to create our charm. So if you are new to onshape and you haven't used it before, you're going to need to create an account. Um, I believe if you use your own credentials, it's free. So you don't have to worry about pricing or even downloading it to your computer because it's just a website. Um, so that's super helpful. Once you create your account, you will sign in and once this loads, you'll see what the home screen should look like. Okay, here we go. So this is something like what you will see. You might not have as many drafts as I do. Um, this is just because I've been using Onshape for a long time. But once you start to get into it, you'll have a bunch of drafts that you can just look through um, on this home page and kind of pull up when you want to reference them. All right, so let's get started with our charm. So the first step to create a new document is to come over to the left-hand side of the screen and go to this create button, um, click the down arrow and then hit new document. And it's gonna ask you to name it. So I'm just gonna name my 3D PC Valentine's Day. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, really doesn't matter. And this is what you should see right when you start your new document. So this is always what you see um, whenever you start creating something new and on shape. So if you see this right now, you're on the right track. Um, all right, so now uh, the first step to do once we get into our document is to create a sketch. So we're gonna come up here again to the top left corner of our screen, hit that sketch button. It's gonna ask us to select a plane. So you can either select the plane on this cube or in this um, structure in the middle here. I'm just gonna do front plane. Um, and yep, there we go. So it brings us to the front plane. And the purpose of the sketch is to create the 2D image of what we will eventually extrude to make 3D. So this is what we're starting with right now. And to do the heart, we're going to use the mirroring technique. So I will show you that um, right now. One last thing to do before we start creating our heart is to change the workspace units. So right now they are in inches, and this is tough to work with, especially when we're doing something really small. Um, so we're actually gonna change that to millimeters. And to do that, we come over to these three lines next to the Onshape logo. We're going to come down to workspace units, and we should be able to change it to millimeter from there. Hit that green check mark, and then we're good to go. All right, so everything is set, and we are ready to start our sketch. So we're gonna come over to sketch one again, just double click that and it should reopen. Uh, notice that the toolbar here changes when we open a sketch. Um, it will give you the line option, the circle option, things like that. And this is what we wanna to see to start our charm. We are actually gonna start with the circle tool. So all you have to do is click on that circle. Um, you should see your cursor turn into a plus. If you see that, that's a good sign. If not, then try to go over there and click it again. Um, once you see that, come to the area in the front plane where you would like to start your drawing um, and just click and drag and your circle will grow um, and just stop clicking at any point right there. Um, and then once you click again, your circle will be permanent there. Um, and then to get out of this circle uh, option with your cursor, all you have to do is hit the escape button and notice that you have your arrow again. Okay, we are going to make the size of the circle a little bit smaller. And to do that, we're gonna come over to the dimensions tool, which is at kind of the right side of the screen here, this little arrowy thing. So click that um, and then come over to the circle and click on that, um, 49 millimeters. That's a bit big for our bracelet. So we are going to start with 20. All right, so we have a 20 millimeter diameter circle. And if you scroll in a little bit, you can zoom in. Um, yeah, so this is how we're gonna start. The next thing that we're going to do is come up here and use our spline tool. So this is kind of like a curvy line tool and it kind of goes along with the line that you're creating. So you'll see what I mean when we start to use it. So zoom in as much as you'd like um, and try to pick a point maybe on this left side of the circle here. And when you see the outside of the circle turn yellow, go ahead and click um, and that should start your spline. And then what you wanna do is just kind of 
try to make it look like the one side of a heart or maybe a backwards too, if you want to do it like that um, and get the shaping right. It's all up to you and how big you want to make your heart. I'm going to stick with that. Um, so notice how my line kind of changes when I move my cursor around. That's the spline tool. So it kind of goes with the line that you're trying to create. And that's not a really good description, but um, it's an interesting tool. And another one of my favorite on shape technique, I'm sorry, but another one of my favorite on shape techniques is tracing. And you can use the spline tool a lot with tracing as well. So if you hit escape, the line will go back to what you originally had. Um, and great. So this is what we want the one half of our heart to look like. So I'm going to hit escape to get out of that spline tool. And now we are going to use the mirroring tool. And to do that, we need to get our straight line tool all the way at the left side of our toolbar here. Um, and we are going to just draw a straight line down from right about here. Oops. We might need to make this line a little bit longer. So if you run into the same issue that I just did, you can just come back over here to the line tool and extend. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. You could just extend this line right here. And notice that the inside of this turned gray. Um, that means we have a closed design, which is what we want. Um, next, we are going to take our scissor tool. We're just gonna trim the sides of this that we don't want. So these lines, if you wanna trim these off, you can just to make it look neater for now. Um, all right, so this looks like the half of one half of a heart, which is good or the opposite of a two, <laughs> whatever way you want to look at it. Um, and it looks like we're ready to mirror. So again, I need to get out of my straight line tool. So I'm going to hit escape and notice that my cursor is narrow again. Um, and now we can start a new tool. So the mirror tool is kind of in the middle of the screen. Um, it kind of looks like a mirroring tool. So if you see that, just click on it. Um, it's going to ask you to select a mirror line. So it's the line that we're going to use for the symmetry. I'm just going to choose this one. Um, so whatever straight line you have going through your heart, that's what you want to choose. Now it's asking for the entities that we want to mirror. So we're going to do our circle and notice that the circle appears on the other side of the line. And then we're going to do the line below it. And notice that that also appears right in the same place, just on the other side of our mirroring line. So to escape the mirror tool, just hit the escape button and voila, you have your heart. Yay. Um, Sometimes what happens when you mirror is that the sides do not connect um, on this side that you were trying to mirror. So this is one instance. Um, this extra line that we had to draw was not mirrored over. So that's why we see this little portion uh, here in the bottom right, not gray. So if you see that, if something like that happens, just make sure to zoom in and make sure that all of your points are connected. And now it's gray and that's exactly what we want. Okay. Straighten that out. Um, and now we are ready to extrude. So again, to leave the spline behind, we're gonna escape. And now we are back to our regular cursor and we're done with our first sketch. So we're actually gonna hit our green check mark and that just signifies that we're done. We're gonna come up here to the button right next to the sketch option, uh, which is called extrude. And this is what we are going to use to make our drawing 3D. So click on that. And it's going to ask you to choose the faces that you would like to extrude. I'm going to click the four sections of my heart that I just did. Um, and notice that that's really, it looks like a really chunky heart. So we don't want that. We're going to change it to 2.5 millimeters because that is more realistic for a bracelet charm. So hit your check mark. If you hold down your mouse or your, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. If you hold down your mouse and you drag, you'll be able to see what your heart looks like in 3D. And it's so cool. Really exciting. So if you're at this point, awesome. If you're not, if you need some help or you got lost somewhere, feel free to rewind and go back and uh, try to figure it out. Okay, um, so the next part of this design is going to be an outline of our heart. And it's just to give it a little bit more dimension, make it a little bit more interesting looking than just a plain heart. So to do that, we're going to open a new sketch. So again, come up to the sketch option up here. We're going to actually select the face of our first heart for the sketch plane. And to do this, I'm going to use the offset technique. So the offset is right here next to our mirror and our scissor tool. Um, and this just kind of makes an outline around our previously created heart. 
So notice that when I put my mouse over one of the portions of my heart, it turns yellow. So if you see that, go ahead and click it. Um, notice that there's an outline here. We want it to be on the inside of the heart. So you can drag that arrow in. Um, whenever you're satisfied with the placement, you could hit enter. Um, and it gives you the option to change the dimensions. So I'm gonna change mine to two, just because that's my preference. Uh, you could do whatever you'd like. And all you have to do is just repeat that for all the way around the heart, for two everywhere or whichever number you choose. Just make sure that you're choosing the right number for all of your offsets or it will be crooked. Okay. Awesome. So that's the offset tool. Um, and notice that we have a portion up here that's not connected. So go ahead and escape from that tool. Um, to fix this, we're going to come over here to the straight line tool, and we're just going to draw a straight line down from the top center of our heart and escape again. Um, what we're going to do now is just connect these here. And we actually need the straight line tool again. Okay. Um, all right. So then just connect. There we go. And then you could do the same thing up here. And there you go, everything's connected. Um, and this would be a complete heart in the middle there. So we're done with our last or our next sketch. So you could hit that green check mark and we're gonna extrude that. Um, oh, wait a second, I forgot something. So just like the problem that we had with the first heart, um, notice that this is not gray in the middle here. Um, that's because if you zoom in, you can see that my connections are not made between the two parts that I had offsetted. So we're going to come in here again, reopen sketch two, and we're going to fill those back in. So it's a very easy fix. Um, it can be frustrating because you can't really see it from the face of your design just because it's so small. Um, but just as long as you know that this is the reason why something is not gray and you know that you're missing connections somewhere, you can come in and fix it. There we go. All right, so now it's yellow. It has the yellow outline. We know that it's complete and we're ready to extrude. All right, so go ahead and close that sketch out. We're gonna open another extrude and it's gonna ask us what we wanna extrude. We are going to highlight this inner heart here um, and we want it to be 0 0.8 millimeters. Perfect, hit that check mark and then go ahead and drag it around. You can see that there's a little, little part of that inside heart indented there. So just like I said before, it gives it some more dimension, makes it a little bit cool to look at, which is what we want. Uh, so we can straighten that out. We only have two steps left. So if you guys are at this point with me, you're doing a great job. All right, so now uh, because this is a bracelet charm, we need to make a little hoop for the string to go through on our bracelet. And we are going to do that again with the circle tool. So of course, as we start any portion of the design, we're gonna come up here to the sketch button and it's gonna ask us to select a plane. We will do the outside of our heart. Um, okay. And like I said, we're going to be using the circle tool. So come up here and select that tool. Um, you can choose the point of the inner circle and just drag out just like this. Um, that should be good. So right about maybe like almost halfway, not really halfway um, to the tallest point of your heart and then hit escape and you see a big circle there, which is what you want. We're gonna use the same tool that we used in the last part of the design, the offset tool, to create an outline of this circle um, so that we can extrude it. So go ahead, click, click your offset tool, um, go over your circle, make sure that it is highlighted yellow, um, and then you can drag the outline circle as much as you want, um, hit enter, and then it will give you the option to dimension it. I'm gonna choose three millimeters. Um, yep, so perfect, that's exactly what we want. And now we are going to extrude this portion of our circle, the top part here. So go ahead and click that green arrow. Um, and notice that the, there's dotted lines around here. Um, that's just because Onshape knows that this is what we want to extrude because there's no other design behind it. Okay, so come up here to extrude. Um, select this region right up here that we just designed and notice that it's in the wrong direction. Um, this handy dandy little arrow here, you can just click and pull that into the right direction. Uh, yep, exactly. So this was originally 2.5 millimeters. So we're just gonna change that to 2.5 to match and then click your green check mark. And if you drag it around, notice that it is perfectly in sync 
with that bottom heart. That looks really cool. Super easy also. All right, so there's only one thing left to do and that's the fun part, it's to personalize. Um, so if you're happy with your heart like this and you're ready to submit, you can do that if you want to, you don't have to personalize it. Uh, but just to give you some more options to make it fun, uh, we're gonna show you how to put some letters and numbers on our heart. Okay, so straighten it out and you can zoom in a little bit. We're going to, of course, do another sketch. So hit that sketch button, select the inner heart for the plane. Um, and to do text, there's a special text tool in this bar up here for your sketching. Just select that, try to make a little box, not too big. There we go. And then put your letters or numbers in here. So I'm gonna do L and J just to show you guys an example. Um, because our charm is gonna be small and we want our letters to stand out, we're going to make them bold. All right, and that's what we should see on top of our charm there. Hit that green check mark. And yep, there they are. They're kind of small though, so maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. So let's use that dimension tool up on the toolbar here and click the first point all the way to the left and the last point to the right. And it should tell you how big your letters are. So that's about 10 millimeters. I'm gonna make it 20 and see what that does. Wow, okay. Yeah, that looks about good if we can drag it down to our charm. Yeah, there we go. All right, so stick that in the middle of your charm. All right, perfect. So if you're happy with the placement of your text, you can hit that green check mark. And then guess what? The last thing to do again is to extrude. So again, we're gonna come up to the extrude option here. Uh, we're going to select our letters and 25 is too big like we've seen before. So we're gonna do 0 0.8 and yep, perfect. All right, hit that green check mark and you are completely finished with your design. Awesome. So just to give you some advice or information about exporting this, when you are finished with your design and you're ready to download it, to submit it to 3DPC, you come down to Part Studio, um, you right click, and then you click Export. It's gonna ask you to name it. You can name it whatever you'd like, but just make sure that the format is STL. If it's not STL, we're not gonna be able to print it for you and you won't be able to have that charm for Valentine's Day. So just make sure you have that all set as an STL and you should be good to go. All right, thank you so much guys. And I hope that you enjoyed this. Have a great day and have a great Valentine's Day.